All right, so before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on the video and that if you guys are new here or have been around and haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell down below. It's the best way to support my channel and make sure you are notified for all future videos. Thank you for watching and let's get right into it. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Slime Isekai Memories video. So it just turned seven o'clock. Shincha or Cynthia finally came out. Um, we have uh, her in the recruit right now and let's go check her out. Okay. Thank you. So impulsive adolescent Shinsha. So she has the five star 5% drop rate, which is good. Um, I think I'll lower the audio just a little bit. So let's see. Um, okay. Uh, that's okay. She has a um, single target alt, dark magic attack for 470% normal damage, decreases single target's crit rate or crit resistance by 5%. We saw that on the Twitter post. Um, yeah, her alt is single target. And when she's, I think, level 100, uh, it'll be 10% for critical resistance. So first, her first, uh, I, I don't, okay, here you go. Her first skill is Predator Growth. It requires 90 points. That is expensive. It increases all allies dark attack by 50% for one turn. Awaken skill, dark attack effect increases to 70% after eight turns from the start of battle. So in longer fights, it'll be 70%, which is pretty good, um, but eight turns is kind of a long time. And then it decreases all target start resistance by 5% for one turn. Okay, so pretty expensive skill um it is gonna be good we finally have just a standard attack dark attack buff um but okay we we, we we've been knowing this one but uh, every, the question that we all have is the second skill is it gonna be an orb change is it gonna be something else let's see huh okay well it's not an orb change great sage processing level one uh, it's 25 points Decreases all targets crit resistance until the end of battle by 5% and increases all, so, all souls skill point increase until the end of battle by, by 5%. Huh. I... I don't know. I think this skill is okay. Um, I mean, it is going to be cheap. I think it's going to be like 15. So it's going to be a cheap skill you can keep hopping over and over and over again. Um... It, that's a kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping that it would be an orb change. Um, a lot of people were hoping so, but I mean, hmm, skill, soul skill point increase, huh? Interesting. It's not bad. The it's just kind of niche because like I understand the whole point of it. you. You use her that skill over and over and over again to help build up Veldora. Um, but I don't know. I feel like this is something that you just would pop occasionally. It's not something you're really going to focus on. Um, but let, let's see her traits. Her Valor trait, when you unleash a 2 combo, all the so enemies' soul skills gauge increases are decreased by 10% or 20%. It's okay. Mm, it's just okay. Her character trait, uh, she gets she increases skill points by 3 or 5 every 3 turns. Eh, it's okay as well. And then secret skill enhancement crit resistance down effect of secret skills increases to 10 percent and then individual mercy okay is this or isis okay so um for the question of whether you should summon i think i'm immediately just gonna say no um she is good i guess she's not bad but i think that second skill is just kind of okay um i don't know maybe i could be wrong um obviously uh it could be quite different but yeah to me she seems like a decent addition but not something that you need so i would definitely wait and kind of hold off before you you summon for her um yeah aside from that we have um we have the packs we have limited time conquest missions we have Loop Loop, uh, the 45th floor unlocked, and then we also have an Extreme Challenge quest. Um, you'll get tons of first anniversary medals, um, 
we have these two and then wow okay so this goes all the way until uh february interesting um apparently it's, it's gonna be pretty difficult because you need at least 52 000, 000, uh population so yeah this will be interesting um the event features high difficulty plus with a recommended ep of 404,000. hmm all right well Aside from that, we have the challenge quest, we have predator battle for the event, and we have Shinsha. Pretty, um, pretty light week this week. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Basically, if you think you sh um, if you're questioning whether you should summon for Shinsha or not, I'd probably say no, um, or at least wait. Right? I'd say wait until closer down the line to when these banners go away, and then you can see. Um, if you if you think you should pull for them or not because both banners end on or i think let me go to this one they both end uh 2159 pst which i think is 1059 pst on the 24th so these go away on at 10 p.m before on the 24th which is right before the movie comes out so I'll maybe wait a little bit, see if we get anything for the movie units, like if we see any details for them. If um, if we don't, then that's up to you at that point, whether you want to summon and have these characters or not. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, summon video will come out later. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.